let's create the wheel first we will create this wheel by the revolve command so select the right plane and sketch select the center line with infinite length and it is vertical let's do the line command select the line command do one line like that again select the center line horizontal with infinite length and trim this entity select the dimension it is 74 mm it is 22 this is 20 and 23 it is 12 it's 0 0.5 Six point five. Now select the mirror. Select this one and mirror about this line. Select the features. Revolve command. Select this axis and OK. Here we just uh, forget to add one element. So again select the sketch. We will add it. Now select the three point arc and radius of this arc is 25 mm, sorry 26 and diameter is 67 here and now select this point now again select this point, select this point and here and the dimension of this is 26.25 this two line are tangent so that these two are tangent to each other this diameter is 26 so in diameter, we apply control J. It is a, it is twenty six right. So select this point and this, which is thirty. Do the problem here. Okay. Here to here distances to let okay. We just need to create this arc element only. Just click this and delete. Yes, delete this. Again, select this three point arc. Here to here distance is 2 mm and this is 67 and radius of this is 26. Now again select this 3 point arc and see the smart dimension. This is 26. Six. And dimension of this is twenty six. Sorry, twenty five by twenty six. This two line are tangent to each other, so it's like that. Now go to the trim entity 
entering this part. Select the mirror entity. Select this two work. Mirror about this one. Again, select this tree and create. Select the tree. Trim this one. Now exit. So now we have this shape. Right. Now select the top plane. Sketch. Select the center line. And it is vertical within finite length and one is horizontal now select one line here just draw one line here just give dimension it is 10.35 and the length of this line is 23 Select a new line, no line here, smart dimension, the angle between this is 70 degree and length of this line is 25 degree. Now select a new line, now this is fully defined, now select again new line. This line and this line are parallel. This point and this line is coincident, so it looks like that. So it is not coincident, but uh, it should be on the same 90 degree. So select the center line and select this line and this line apply the perpendicular this is 1.5 and length of this is 21 select one more line here select the smart dimension again angle between this is 85 degree and length of this is 14.25 select the line command select now go to the fillet it is 3 one fillet select this point this point this point this one and this one and apply now again select this fillet and select this point apply now we have this fully defined sketch go to features extrude cut apply through or both sorry first we just make a circular pattern this one and this one the number of pattern is 5 ok now go to the feature extrude cut apply through both and ok now go to the fillet and here also it is 1 again show it to you so in the name let sake no now it is completed so let's check this is the room 